Hey guys, it's Chris from Tiny Industrial. You're looking at the Cape Cod. It is a natural wood exterior, six and a half by 10, gypsy wagon style Vardo from Tiny Industrial. It has since been delivered to its rightful owner down in Florida, but I did get a chance to do the full video tour. Stick around, it's coming up. Alright, so the audio on this clip got all screwed up and therefore I am overdubbing. But here's the exterior. You're looking at, uh, like I said, 6.5 by 10 feet. Overall height is 8 feet. People always want to know that kind of stuff. And uh, it's got an overhang on the back there of an additional foot. The uh, total weight of the structure is right around 2,200 pounds as you see it. And it's, as I said before, built on a 6.5 by 10 foot utility trailer. So let's go over some of the features here. Uh, the back features an AC unit, planters, a Shishugi Oban Dutch door. And let's go inside and see what's going on in there. So as I said, Dutch door splits in half. You got a really nice uh, shelf there to uh, place your cup of coffee on. You also get the opportunity to get some really nice cross ventilation going. Uh, the window opposite that you see in there is also openable, so you can do that. Uh, interior wise, we've got a bed platform that will house a full uh, XL. That's an extra long full mattress. And um, as I said, the window there opens. It also serves as a secondary form of egress in the case of an emergency. And we've got sconces. We've got uh, two on each side of that window. And we've got an additional two uh, on either side of the door entrance. That is an interesting uh, kind of uh, light source here. They look like traditional light bulbs. They are LEDs. They're in a standard uh, socket. But they are actually 12 volt, low voltage Edison LED bulbs. Um, which I thought was kind of unusual. So uh, everything low voltage there. You got your kitchen, you've got a uh, sink. There's a electric pump and a three gallon water reservoir. And that is uh, draining to the outside. Um, ample storage space under the, uh, the, the, the kitchen area. And of course, massive amounts of storage under the bed area. Um, customer intends to put an RV style um, you know, chemical toilet under there and um, normally I would put sort of a shelving unit there but customer opted to not have that so uh, on the other side opposite the kitchen you have a seating area uh, there is a compartment underneath that seating area again more storage folds up you could also take that seating area out rather easily and um, if you need space, you've got three AC outlets. One is more or less dedicated uh, to the um, air conditioning unit. You have one in the kitchen, one over by the bed. That is an old used tabletop. I always like to reuse uh, certain um, you know, items that, uh, that I happen to come across and I thought that would give it a nice touch. Total number of windows in the structure. You've got uh, three on each side. So you've got six windows on the sides, two in the back and one on the front. Total of nine windows. Now this particular house is not off-grid, but it is off-grid capable. And I have installed solar panels on the roofs of these, as well as battery backup. This one does not have it. Black walnut, cookie. I uh, use a uh, boat uh, style mount for that. There's a uh, cup mounted in the floor. That table can be pulled straight up and out as well. Uh, the flooring, incidentally, is an engineered hardwood. It's like a dark oak, I believe it was. Um, I use the engineered wood because one, it's real wood, and two, uh, it's thin and light. Uh, and, and for all those reasons, it's uh, highly suitable for that. Customer wanted uh, an, a natural interior, so nothing in here is painted or lacquered or anything. 
they intend to decorate the entire interior themselves. The walls incidentally are covered in a natural quarter inch knotty pine, but uh, you're looking at a um, pretty much a full camper version of the, uh, the structure here as I build them. Um, I can do as little or as much uh, of this work as the customer desires. And these are all custom, fully custom based on uh, customer requests. Uh, you're looking at a structure here which is right around $15,000. Um, that includes the, all the labor and the trailer. Uh, and then in this case also included delivery. If you like what you see here, you want to find out more, you can reach out uh, to Chris at tinyindustrial.com. Please visit my website, tinyindustrial.com. I'm also on Instagram at tinyindustrial and on Facebook under Tiny Industrial. And um, I'm constantly building these for people. And, um, you know, even if you just have some questions, whatever, please don't hesitate to reach out. I'm happy to uh, answer those questions for you. And uh, if you like this video, please hit subscribe to see further content like this. And um, yeah, I look forward to, to hearing from you and uh, answering any questions you might have in regard to a structure like this. Thanks again. Hit subscribe. Talk to you soon.